Hello everyone and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is Soul Friday. Well, we're going to get into the messages for the weekend. We're going to get into your energy, the energy around you. And then I'm doing it a little different. So your energy, the energy around you. And then what is that this energy, what is the message for this energy like? What was it meant for? What What's the energy showing up for? What, uh... Is it that you needed to work on or see what change it may have for you the weekend? And the reason why I'm changing it a little bit is because um, we have... Um, the reason why I really want to change it is because... And I said I didn't want to really get into this, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to do it real quick, y'all. The full moon, which is Wednesday when I'm recording it. So this is like the full moon. So this is definitely a time to manifest, guys, if you don't know that. This is definitely. So the 30th or the 31st, wherever, uh, depending on where you live. Uh, but this is full moon in Pisces. Uh, some people call it the blue moon. Some say it's not the blue moon. But from what I've... Uh, investigated and read and learned uh, in regards to the full moon in Pisces. First of all, it rules the 12th house, which talks about, um, which uh, is a mutable sign and it, it talks about the unconscious. So for me, that's why when I see the moon card and the tarot cards, I connect it with Pisces because the moon card represents, a, okay, I'm doing too much. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> Uh, this full moon in Pisces uh, and the ruling planets. This has two ruling planets. One is Neptune and one is Jupiter. Jupiter in the regular astrology. But with that being said, it talks about uh, fantasies, imaginations, the unconscious, right um also uh his fantasies imaginations oh and one how could i forget that intuor intuition unbeatable intuition so your intuition may be leading you or moving you in so many ways like you just like you either need to slow down or not slow down so your intuition could be very heightened during this time especially for the weekend um again it talks about fantasies so you may be daydreaming or thinking about things uh leading up to it or over the weekend because you know this transit or full moon has an effect Actually, two days before and two days after, you still could be feeling the effect. Honestly, you could be feeling the effect a week later, right? It's just, that is where they put it on the spectrum. But it depends on the individual, what you're going through, and what spirit has for you at that time, okay? Um, I'm going to have to put an intro on this for sure. Um, but anyways, uh, that's just what I want to say. So if you feel emotional also pisces definitely deals with your emotions uh, you may even feel that you're dealing with detachments right they don't have to be toxic it could just be feeling like detached energy like detaching like you feel or realize there's something you need to detach from whether it's you personally or someone around you like those energies you just be like man why do i feel this way like why well, i don't want to talk to this person or why I don't want to, you know, engage in a conversation with this person or I don't want to go see this person or today I don't want to spend time with this person. It doesn't mean you have to detach from them completely, but I feel that this is a time for uh, that unconscious of Pisces to come through to, to see what it is you may be missing or what your intuition is telling you. It's like what your intuition is telling you about this situation or person or even about yourself okay let's get out of it you say we did not come here for astrology this will be soul friday weekend <laughs> okay uh okay so anyway you just know we got a full moon on the 30th and 31st in pisces and it does rule the 12th house <laughs> and you can check it to see where pisces is in your chart and also when you do <laughs> 
check your chart to see where Pisces is. This is the last thing I'm going to say. Check your chart to see where Pisces is in whatever house that you have Pisces in. You could see some of the effects that, or maybe put the pieces together. I'm just feeling this message need to come out for somebody to help you put the pieces together for the way you're going to be feeling, the way you're going to be moving, the way you want, you're going to want to move or some things that you're going to feel. I just feel detached. You, you, okay. I tell you what. When I do y'all individual readings, I'm going to look it all up and tell you then. If y'all want to hear that, definitely let me know. Uh, y'all might be like, no, thank you. But we just want the reading. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Looks like I had a few cards in reverse. I know I don't put my cards in reverse. If they come out in reverse, then that's the way the Spirit wants you to see the message. But all my cards are always in my deck. Of okay. Um, so. Let's get into it. Um, we're going to start off with the collective, guys. Ooh, let me put down. Ooh, was that a rant for six minutes? Ish. All right, intro. Six minutes. Six minutes, dug it fresh. No. <laughs> dug it fresh for one. All right, this may be a crazy weekend, y'all. This really may be crazy. A crazy weekend. It's not crazy. Okay, let me just get into the readings. Let me get my time down. This is the intro before. Okay, now we're going to collective reading right now. Right now. 6.44. All right, we're going straight into the collective reading. All right, guys, let's go. Y'all, the light may go in and out. Because I'm using natural light. I have realized that, you know, the other light, unless I really have to use it, I'm not using it. So let me know how the lighting is. Is it okay? Is it too dark, guys? Uh, but the sun keeps going up and down. So. All right. Collective. Your energy for the weekend. Y'all do know I don't clarify. I just see what I, I see. And for the only thing different, I'm going to try to see. Okay. Collective energy around you. Collective. Now, this collective reading is for whoever's guided to my channel. Hmm. I, I would like to see that card in reverse. And then I'll tell y'all, I never. Okay. Let me just stop talking and get these cards out. I'm going to make up time, y'all. <laughs> y'all, like, this supposed to be the weekend, soul weekend. Soul Friday weekend reading. And you're taking up the whole weekend. <laughs> Uh, okay, one more. Oh my. Okay, okay. All right, so your energy on one side, collective. What did I even explain what this collective reading is? This collective reading is for anybody who needs it. You could be a Pisces, a Capricorn, a Virgo. You could be anything, right? It could be Gemini, Cancer, Cancer Cuss, all right? Because that is our channel. So I do try to stay connected, and I do have spirit guides, which I work with Archangel Michael, to really try and connect in our energy, which Archangel Michael is protection. So that's, that's me, all right? But I have plenty of other ways of connecting to my spirit guides that feels good to my heart when giving you guys the message and it's getting so much stronger and i don't know if you guys can see the difference but it's like i don't know that right that full moon and pisces let me stop talking anyway one more so anyway the collective is for anybody that is guided to this channel period and this really wants them to hear something or not something so let's get into it overall the page of cups it is we would be doing that. We're dealing with Pisces, right? We deal with emotions. The unconscious is more the mind, but Pisces is emotion. It's water. Um, so I'm telling you, this weekend has something to do with this uh, full moon in Pisces on Wednesday, Thursday, wherever you're at. Um, so the overall for this reading is, um, and y'all don't look the nails there, mess. <laughs> um, apology. Fresh new love, new opportunities emotionally, maybe for yourself or someone. Um, so your energy, 
collective, and this is whoever is resonating with. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. Y'all, I don't want to show y'all my messed up nails. That's why. <laughs> but it is what it is. Y'all, do y'all want the message? <laughs> message? Okay. I feel that someone is looking at a situation where they've been through a lot. Five of Pentacles is they're ve de detached. I just... I can't make it up. What is the five of pentacles feeling detached and left out in the cold? When you detach, you leave something or move something or some mindset. Uh, even this is five of pentacles. So this is, uh, it's in the 3D though. This is separation literally in the 3D because pentacles is earth. So this is happening in the 3D. Somebody feels left out in the cold or detached or separated could be from a king of wands. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But the reason they feel that way is because of the nine of wands. They had a lot of passion for a situation. Now, whoever this is, I'm talking to you, collectively, this is your reading. You had a lot of passion for a situation, but you've been through a lot. So you was very guarded against your emotions. Now, this could be you being the king of wands, very guarded, and just been through a lot. And this weekend, you're going to be detaching, seeing that you need to detach from the wounded warrior attitude and feeling left out in a cold, lack, less than, like you don't have enough, or like a, also, you know, and that's not usually the king of wands. Uh, energy, but this could be you getting into that energy this weekend. Of you know you, you and it just means a fire sign, but fire is what it is. This is big fire with the nine of wands. That's big, big fire, right? That's a lot of passion put into several situations, maybe even too many situations. You could see that you need to detach from something that you constantly keep feeling left out in the cold. Or this is you finally standing in your truth. I have to give it to you how I see it because I'm thinking of the effect of this moon, this, this full moon in Pisces. I don't see any water here, but I see passion. But I see you looking at a situation that clearly you've been through and you're tired. You're tired of fighting the fact of either being with the in crowd for them to see who you are. They've sent you through a lot or somebody, just, I'm also hearing like somebody keeps closing the door on you. They keep time and time again, no matter how you try to show up as the king or queen, they just want to let you in. They've been badly wounded and this may be a time that you're going to detach from a situation. But you're detaching because you're realizing that you need to detach. And what is that detached going to bring? Fantasy, imagination, uh, intuitive, right? And it could be your intuition this weekend helping you to see... Ooh. I'm also seeing whoever this is for. Your intuition also could be helping you see how you've been playing the wounded warrior and maybe closing the doors on others because of because I'm hearing because you wanted people to see you for who you were and maybe you weren't seeing yourself for who you were but this weekend you will okay let me just keep going y'all this is the longest weekend so friday check in the energy around okay yeah the energy around you collective is the nine of pentacles and i hate seeing the nine of pentacles in reverse unless i see a beautiful card next to it 
a beautiful energy rather next to it. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star card. This is clearly the energy around you, rather this you. This could be all your energy, mind you, collective. Or this is the energy around you, or this is a person you're dealing with this weekend. There is a release of a very independent, nourishing person due to third party. And there will be no wish fulfillment or feeling like there's no wish fulfillment or healing in this situation. That's what I heard immediately. And I'm moving on. The energy around you has the energy of leaving something that perhaps you could have invested in or even leaving something as beautiful and loving and caring maybe you felt that way maybe you don't feel that in your right detaching you could be detaching or this person could be detaching from a nine of pentacles someone that was very independent nourishing and caring i see it as a detach because we're talking this weekend is about detachment and somebody has chose to detach from this nine of pentacles Independent singlehood for the Three of Cups. And what I'm feeling is this Three of Cups may be laughter, drinking, fun, going out, uh, the mindset, maybe even feeling very emotional towards a group than a single person. But the star card is in reverse, so there's no healing there and there's no wish for feeling in this situation. Now, it definitely could mean you're detaching because you feel that being in this third party situation doesn't give you individual growth and there's no healing and there's no wish fulfillment in this energy that, you you know, you could be leaving, detaching from. I just feel like the detachment is from a third energy. That's what I feel. It could be family, friends, a job, uh, a mindset. That somebody's detaching from something that they now know the energy is detached or detaching from something that's not a wish fulfillment, detaching from something that uh, they have now realized they've been trying to heal and they can't. That's what I'm hearing. All right. So for the universe and the guidance, overall, what is this? lesson about. Now, when cards do come face down, I leave them face down because I feel it's very important that this is either coming your way or something you're not aware of. So we had the five of cups in reverse. We're talking about sorrow. We're talking about heartbreak here. We're talking about can't see the forest for the trees, right? An emotional loss, but it's not really emotional loss because you have the two of cups behind you where you can pick your head up. And even if it's balance yourself out, you have to detail, oh, okay. And you have the three, okay, let me just show you what I have here. And then sometimes, you know, you guys see these cards and you know exactly before I even get it out. Even when I struggle with getting the message. Um, three of Swords definitely talks about disappointment and heartbreak. We have the um, Five of Cups, talks about missing someone, sorrow, disappointment again. But it's not all lost. With the two cups, you can pick those two cups up, whether it's just balance yourself out. And now you have the seven of pentacles. Looking at what you have left, okay? If it was a financial situation, I don't know. But you got the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is a very independent person. That's The nine of pentacles is moving to the ten, having it all. So they one pentacle from that. And this situation is in reverse. If this person is in reverse... And this could definitely mean that you're choosing to give your independence up to collaborate and, and, and see what it is that you have. Or you're choosing to give up a very independent person, take your losses, balance yourself out, okay, detach, heal, and the seven of pentacles begin again. And begin again. And overall, we have the two of wands. And I always say the two of wands is not making that decision, but knowing you need to leave something behind so that you can get going. 
This was the longest collective reading, and that is it. I am moving on. Yes, that's it. That's what I got for you, collective. However you pick that message up, what is... Oh, my. How many minutes? It's crazy. Okay. It's collective. All right. Let's get going, Cancer. Cancer is next. Y'all should be glad I time stamp down below. If I don't have a time stamp by the time I, I get this message out, y'all, I know y'all is so intuitive and detaching from the old ways that you're going to sit up there and time stamp and put Gemini stuff up. Y'all, I know I'm tripping today. It's okay. I actually like this full moon in Pisces. I have a different energy going on here. It's very spicy. <laughs> okay, let's get into it, Cancer. We're going straight through it. No more talking about transits and astrology and houses. Okay. This, this. I'm sorry, y'all, when I be pausing when this, you know what? I'm going to have to do better. Maybe if y'all see, y'all won't mind me talking so much if you can see it. Wait a minute, I just want to get them all out. Oh, my goodness. Look, same two cards. Y'all seen me shuffle, same two cards, but in different spots. Cancer. Overall, oh, this is beautiful though, really. It depends, yeah, it depends on how, uh, this is a, the spirit, and the spirit said take them all, so I'm not, I'm not going to uh, change it. Look at this, look under the bottom. Y'all seen me, three cups. This is definitely, this weekend is about detaching from something emotional. Something that needed to change. Seeing it needed to change. Okay, here we go, Cancer. Cancer, on your side, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Fool card. And then you have a King of Pentacles here. Cancer, I feel... With the, the Queen of Wands in reverse, I know the Queen of Wands is considered the other woman, the ex, whatever the situation. But this person's in reverse. You, okay, I, I have to say, you may be dealing with Cancer, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, this is definitely energy you're dealing with. That the food card is Gemini. And then the Queen of Wands is in reverse. The Queen of Wands in upright definitely could definitely mean the other person, other woman, or whatever. This could be a whole long relationship, Cancer. But this this I, I'm just telling you, I seen right away that somebody's no longer a fool for a Queen of Wands. Male or female, and they're detaching from it. Here we go. And that could be you. Cancer, male or female. You could be the king of pentacles because this person is looking in a different way, realizing I need to detach from this queen of wands. Something about this queen of wands, either if they are ex, a baby mama, uh, um, a mama, somebody. This, but you know what? The, the Also, this is a person that sometimes uh, the queen of wands, and not all, right? Because fire signs, I don't want y'all to think I'm talking about you manipulative. Um, but they do things to get what it is that they want. But they're able to do that because they have that fire. It's like they light up a room. They're fire. When fire come through, what fire do? Right? Especially in the Queen of Wands, that's a lot of fire. It's not no small page fire. They got a lot of fire. So they're magnetic. That's how I feel. They're magnetic. It could be you. However you want to see it. But either someone is choosing no... This is definitely the Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone... Is no longer choosing to deal with the Queen of Wands and uh, um, 
and, and they're taking a leap of faith that they're doing the right thing and they're moving to more stability and abundance in their life, okay? This is the mindset. So what they're doing, detaching. I'm also hearing detaching from being the fool to a queen of wands energy. It doesn't have to be male, female. It doesn't matter. It's the energy. Someone that thinks they can get away with whatever they want. That's just the way I feel. Okay, the energy outside of you. Now, if this is all your energy, you have the six of wands, the five of pentacles, right, guys? This is knowing. This the energy outside of you, if it's you or someone, someone outside of you knows the victory is to detach from this feeling left out in the cold and heartbreak in order to have a victory. Now, it could be the situation over here, this person that they're detaching from, which leads them to a victory and being seen or when they choose to detach from something that uh, th this energy, rather it's you, when you choose to detach from something, you're going to have a victory in it. If it's energy outside of you or someone else is doing this, this five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold and heartbroken, you are realizing that you need to d detach from this energy of feeling less than, that you don't have enough, that people need to accept you like you're gonna have a victory in this believe me people are going to be accepting and seeing you everywhere if there was a time where you were you just may be leaving people out in the cold it's going to be heartbreaking to some people i just heard that detaching from some people and it's not like you doing it to hurt anyone but this time has come to detach from this or this situation or these people or this mindset i'm also hearing home situation job that have made you feel left out in the cold and heartbroken and doing this may be difficult for you to do and i'm not saying you're doing it all this weekend but that whole detached thing with pisces is going to be in your mind i feel like it's going to get the wheel turning but you're going to have a victory in it well, this person, take the energy however. I know this thing is like all over the place, but if you get it, you get it. The overall lesson with the universe wants with all of this information, and that's why I think he gave me so many cards. He wants balance. He wants you to understand you have options. He wants you to understand that you're the empress. You have the ability to grow and create anything you want. That it will take, it, it does, it can take a commitment. It could take working with someone and y'all realizing y'all have a lot of options of, or a lot of emotions for someone too. Like, I feel like someone uh, detaches from a situation that brings them towards you and they realize like the love together being balanced, y'all have so many options uh, to, to emotionally feel fulfilled because we're talking Pisces, emotions to fulfill each other's cup in so many ways. And then you have the Empress where the growth, um, passion and love and commitment is like a birth, a birth of love, a birth of commitment. Now, this could just be within yourself. Detaching from these situations <clears throat> leads you to balance within yourself and seeing so many opportunities for yourself that you're going to see that you, that you will be nourishing and caring for after the detaching from which whichever situation side you're on cancer this is i feel like i'm doing a full reading i don't think y'all gonna need no yeah anyway these cards came out too and it was temperance the queen of cups and the tower and i had to take it because cancer you sit in the middle with completing a tower i don't know when it's coming up or is you know it could happen over the weekend, but you've been patient, or you've been kind, you've been loving, you've been holding space. That's what I heard. You've been holding space for a time to <clears throat> balance yourself out and detach. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Balance yourself out and detach. Because you're going to have some work to do. 
Why is it jumping into September? Cancer, you got work to do in September, but it's beautiful work. I don't know. It just jumped over into that, Cancer. Anyways, there is a tower moment that will happen that will remove things that no longer serve you. I can't help but feel you playing the part in this tower. Yeah, it's like you're kicking the tower over yourself. You hold space and time for some situation, person, job, mindset, feeling hurt, pain. There is something you're detaching from. And when you do detach, that is removing something that kept you from moving forward. And then you're going to be moving forward in your emotions and temperance as you're guided and you're protected by the angels. That's what I'm hearing. That you got a lot going on this weekend, cancer. That's what I got. I gotta go. This is too. What the? This reads. I can't even see that, y'all. What is it? Thirty. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, fifteen minutes on cancer for you. Uh, okay. All right. Moving along. Cusper. Cusper probably like, oh shoot. Don't get, don't go breathing on the hours. We want to all hours. Customers be wrong there. Uh, Y'all, I have so many people I wanted to give a, a shout out to. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, and it's mostly been in the customer reading. So if you go through cancer and the collective and Gemini, and you're just like, well, she really gives out to customers. They just my most active subscribers. So I remember them when I'm, I don't know, when I'm shot. They just, I don't have to explain myself, okay? It's like, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, if you feel some kind of way, um, start commenting. Give a thumbs up. Share. Uh, let me know what you're doing out there. I'm sorry. Um, I'm very intuitive. So when people constantly connect with me, their energy starts to connect with me. And that's just the way it is. Um, <clears throat> Donna, of course, y'all know I always say hi to Donna. Hi, Donna. Uh, and hope everything is fine with you. But I want to say, this is what I wanted to say. Thank you guys for the donations. I have had quite a few donations come in from the cuspers. And I'm not doing this for, well, these is cuspers listening. But others may come. But cuspers, I want to tell you guys, I love you so much. And thanks for all the support. And yeah, my main title and my sign is Gemini Cancer Cusp. Because I um, end Gemini and I, be, I begin Cancer. Uh, but you guys are very supportive. I think it's KY. Um, I would like to give a shout out to you. Thanks. Uh, I can't remember the other part. I know it's numbers in there, but hello. Um, eesh. The donation, it came from, I think it's McLean, McClung. McClung or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but thank you for that donation. And I can't remember the other two names for the donations, but I just want you to know I appreciate it very much. Uh, it does help my channel, support my channel, and I appreciate it. Um, let's get into what's this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Three minutes of a shout out. Guys, I'm next Soul Friday, I'm gonna make a, I want to make a list. Just like I did a strong before I put, and I'm gonna give shout out. I just feel like my reviewers, my people like real. I just want to thank you because it's you guys who sharing my videos, passing them on, thumbs up, commenting that it's making um, my message get out there, and that's really all I really care about. You know, I appreciate the donation, but God will take care of me however He needs to. I just need to do what He needs me to do, right? Um, so, but I appreciate it so much that it's on your hearts to do that. Okay. Popped up and I, uh, y'all can't tell me these messages are okay, Cusper. Whew. Outside energy, Cusper. Outside energy for Cusper. Outside energy for Cusper. Two more. Oh, Cusper. Do it, child. Do it. <laughs> when I told you I was saying the magician, I was like, above, below, bring up, bring it down. I want it all. I got the tools. This is like, to me, detaching from something that maybe even made you feel like you couldn't do something. And realizing, 
I got them twos and more. <laughs> like, uh, very arrogant, very arrogant. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay, 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 because we're... Y'all are not staying on y'all reading. So listen, because I know y'all got this. Listen to me, and I'm going to tell it to you quick, because, yeah. Okay, so for you already know, you the star, all right? The magician, so above, so below. That's your Gemini part coming out. That's what be making y'all so cold. Like, y'all just got two sides. Like, you can do it all. That's like three people, two Geminis and a Cancer. Like, who don't want that? <laughs> okay, so your energy, King of swords in reverse the four of wands and we have the same thing five of cups this is what i'm getting right away your energy is that gemini part of you is i feel this because when you make a all right, here we go. Somebody is angry probably around the decisions detaching you're going to do. With the four of wands here, you may be detaching for a situation, a, a whole freaking family, a whole whatever. But with the king of swords in reverse, that's like somebody that's angry about it. Now, because you, you could be angry about a situation, but, but, but let me tell you about this. Somebody could be t detaching from you and, and choosing... Uh, to go back to a family or to hold a house that ho household down because maybe they're angry at you. But at the end of the day, the four of the five of cups represents okay. I get it, right. But the two of cups is pick your head up and keep moving. Emotional loss, fine. We heal from that. Detach. This is detaching from if you've dealt with something or you may be. This could be you. Being upset about a situation that has not worked out, that has to do with stability in family and having to deal with that emotional detach and move on. That's how I feel. Or either you're doing that towards someone or someone's angry about you doing that or this is your realization. Like, But you may be a little pissed off about it. You may be like, I'm a little pissed off that maybe you got to start over from your, your, your detach. Maybe you got to start over. You got to find a new community, a new friend, a new job, whatever it is. And with the Five of Cups, you're a little heartbroken about it. But with the Five of Cups also is to turn around. After you detach, you realize something. Clearly, you realized it for a reason, right? Because the King of Swords sits in judgment. And right now, judgment is in reverse. So either somebody could have made the wrong judgment. That's how I'm feeling, right? Because judgment's in reverse. They didn't make the right judgment. And maybe they brought a loss or a heartbreak to you. But don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. The energy outside of you. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling with the idea of being an emperor. Being empowered of who they are. And how to do it with temperance. So you got somebody was juggling. Maybe trying to juggle two situations. Right? Um, the emperor definitely represents... Standing in your power. Sometimes it can be narcissistic behavior too. Because they won't move off that throne. With the two of pentacles, they may have been trying to juggle a situation. Trying to stall or hold time back or whatever. Hold, hold back time or whatever. They couldn't do it no more. Right? They couldn't. They, they had to make a choice. You're either going to stand in your power and let the universe work it out. Tempers and patience. And, and let the universe put it together. Like somebody decided to stop juggling, stand in their power, and be patient. This energy outside of you. Now, the fact that the two of pentacles here in this situation or person around you, there's no more juggling and standing in their power, the universe now takes over. So now things will work out. And I feel like energy outside of you, the universe just needed them to make a choice. And with this whole detached thing, uh, this emperor had to detach from something. This emperor energy. And it could have been a mindset. It could have been that they were juggling what they believe, what people told them, or who they really thought their power were, was. I don't know. I'm just hearing they had to detach from the lies for the truth. That's what I'm hearing. 
It could be you. Very much Gemini, not Cancer, because y'all, we ain't going through all that. Y'all get it, okay? I know y'all get it. All right. Now, why this all happening? What, what the universe has to say about this situation? Somebody needs time out. There's an emotional time out. A couple fulfillment and love being ex ex exalted exalted to the highest after this detachment which will leave someone asking the universe to help them to I'm feeling release it from their mind the thoughts of how what should have went or could have asking for help for detachment in the mind as a Gemini side your emotions are good, but your headspace, Cusper, may be off a little bit. Uh, but I don't see this as sleepless nights and anxiety. I see this as asking the universe to help you to continue to detach. That's that's the way I see it. And the reason I say that is because you have justice here. And justice will be served. If you detach from a situation where someone was... Uh, I'm going to just tell you, did not see your worth and was juggling you, like, justice will be served. Believe that. Especially if the universe had brought this together for an overflowing and committed relationship that the universe sent towards your way. Or this is definitely the time justice being served. And you're going to get it in time divine and divine time that's how i hear now y'all take it how it work but it was basically about learning healing and seeing the truth in something opening up emotionally and moving towards that and then a, a time of detach and then justice the universe takes over and the right thing for all involved happens here I don't know. I see it like a plane. Everybody's like everybody go there and when they land, everybody where they're supposed to be. I don't know if I don't know customer why I came, but I just seen a plane. Like not that it explode. I hope it didn't explode. All right, no, we ain't even going there. The devil's always busy, ain't he? But I'm seeing a plane, and everybody's on the plane. You know how it's like slow motion, and when it like hits a turbulent or something like that. And maybe everybody was in different seats, was in their seats. And when it hit it, it hit so hard that when people come down, they're in different seats. But I'm seeing it like they like, whoo, this is what I've been looking for. Oh, this seat feels better. You know, like almost like the three bears. The who's been sleeping in my, okay, ah, that's just too much. I cannot, y'all get the story. You get to stir the three bears too. That's how it is. Like you land. But you're happy with the land. And like, it's different. It's what you actually want. You didn't even know. Maybe there's too many doggone people switching seats and running around. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's move on to Gemini. Jeez, 43. That's not too bad. 43 minutes, yeah? All right, Gemini. This old Friday reading is something. I'm telling you, it's this Pisces energy. I don't care what nobody say. It's this Pisces energy. It's this full moon and Pisces, which rules the 12 house. It brings all this peace. I feel like things to light. That's what it is. It's all about bringing things to light. It's the moon card, I swear. No more hidden things. And maybe even finally figuring out how to detach, just so you can... Be prepared and get ready. I think September is going to be a beautiful month. I think a lot of things are going to be changing for people in September. Those who accept change. Y'all have some beautiful love reading stuff. I know some change is happening out there. Even if it ain't just as I say it. Whew. Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles was in reverse, so it's in the cusp of, I, I like mixing these up. Five of Swords, energy surrounding you, Ten of Wands. Uh, the 
high priestess cusper had it. One more. Three of Wands in reverse. I know that three of Wands is in the, the uh, love readings. All right. What is the overall uh, reason or mission this weekend? Y'all, I can't make this up. Nine of Swords. I mean, like, whoa, Ten of Swords. Purpose and a mission this weekend from the Spirit. Temperance. Cherry, it's all about movement after this detach. After this Pisces, I just told you it's gonna be a lot of movement in September. It's like a lot of a lot of oil parts. I'm telling you. Okay, so anyway, Gemini, let's get this is going on too long. Okay, uh, I ain't even welcome you, Gemini. Like, I'm so sorry, Gemini. Welcome to Gemini So Y'all know I love y'all. I mean, look at the name of the channel, okay? But I still want to say I love you and thank you so very much uh for all your support. If you've done any donations towards the channel, I want to tell you I thank you so very much. If you are a Gemini, please start, you know, just connect with me. Let me know because I don't want y'all to feel that I give all of the credit to the customers because I love Gemini. Let me tell you, my baby girl, the Gemini, my granddaughter, a Gemini. Like, I got nothing but love for you, Gemini, <laughs> okay? Um, I love you. Uh, so, let's get into your Soul Friday read. Um... If you are just arriving and all you did was look at the Gemini, I do suggest you check out the intro. I, I suggest you, when you got time, look at me, got time, when you have the time to sit back and kind of check out that whole Soul Friday vibe, because all the vibe coming together in some type of way, and I believe there's a message in every one that you might can get something out of. I'm just feeling intuitively to say that to you, okay? Um... But anything resonate with you, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I appreciate that. All right. So, Gemini, your energy, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. <sighs> when you detach, I just want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see Ace of Pentacles choosing. When you choose to stop juggling something that you need to cut out. Detach, right? Here we go about detach. I'm telling you that's what this weekend is about. It's conflict. It's something that you feel you have to be in competition with. Something you got to fight for. And you're juggling between having what the universe wants for you. And I'm sorry, bull crap. Five of Swords, is, it's not a win-win situation. Like, you're not going to win. And, and I'm not saying this you. So, you know, like, how can change this energy? Yeah, you won't. But there's a clearly an ace of pentacles feeling like the universe has given you something that you've been waiting on, or the universe has given you something. So on, I feel, Gemini, on one hand this weekend, you're going to feel like the, the, the universe is giving you something marvelous. Could be financial. Um, but it's definitely in the 3D and it's tangible. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity. It could be an opportunity for growth in 3D, a business, uh, whatever. Uh, actual finance or, you know how I also see um, the Ace of Pentacles is men that knew you. That knowing that you are the gift, that you are the gift. That's how I heard that. Now what happens is the Two of Pentacles is you juggling that you're the gift against conflict. You gotta be kidding me, Gemini. Cut the conflict out. And I feel you're gonna be cutting the conflict out because this is a no win-win situation. And it's like you've been trying to hold your balance. For what it is you truly want in the universe, like the universe got a whole pinnacle gift, like garden, growth, everything for you over here. And then you look over here and you got the five of swords. We got people over here fighting. Some people can't even fight. They just got a sword, just a hole in it. And then he done uh, bamboozled some people and took their sword. They feel lost and confused and walking away. And then we got, and I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm not, but I'm telling you, there's, I don't see, 
They look like they dressed in abundance. On this side of the juggling pinnacle, you got the two of pinnacles. Like, this is a no-brainer. Detach. Like, they'll have nothing over here but competition and fighting. And you trying to figure out if you should accept this or this. Okay, Jim. Now, we ain't going to talk about that no more because I know you better than that. And if you didn't know, you should know you right now. We ain't doing that. So, anyway, you may be looking at a situation for what it is this weekend. I'm going to say you're detaching from the five of swords, cutting it out. I ain't fighting, arguing, fussing with nobody. As a matter of fact, just like, that don't even look like now you need to be putting your energy in. Like, that ain't even you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why would you do it? You've been misled. <laughs> Somebody done tried to bamboozle you, Gemini. <laughs> you done woke up. <laughs> Gemini, like, this is not funny if you're dealing with you. And the reason why you're waking up, you know, and that's what's the most important thing. Ten of Wands. The Hermit and the Six of Wands in reverse. Fab, you're not no longer waiting on the clarity. Or someone is no longer waiting on the clarity. That they clearly need to drop this Ten of Wands, drop that zero, and get with that hero. That be you, Gemini. That's you. Somebody clearly seeing they got a lot of burdens. And they need to stop waiting to drop them. Or it could be you, real this because this would be all your energy. Realizing you that you need to drop other that them ain't even your burdens. And you're gonna release those burdens. And you're seeing the truth in it. This is Hermit. You spent some time alone. You seen the truth, and the spirit just like, look, there it is. Here's the light. Look at that. <laughs> look how big did the light get? So big that you was able to turn your back. Like, no, no, no. And when you turn your back, you turn your back to look at this. Like, uh-uh, this got to go. No, 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 no. That got to go. That 10 of wands got to go. You cannot stay here. Those ain't my burns. I'm out of time. How did I even get here? How did I even get my address? <laughs> it's like releasing, seeing you need to release something. Either yours, mindset, a passion you have for something. You know, the 10 of, 10 of wands is just having a lot of passion for a lot of different things. And you could just be narrowing it down. Like, right? And the, and the three of ones in reverse is someone like not waiting anymore. And why don't you have to wait anymore, Gemini? So who got this and they read? You don't got to wait because you got it right here. What are you waiting on? Like, what we finna do with it? Is that what you're waiting to figure out what we're going to do with it? Because you don't have to wait. Your ace has come in. The universe has already supplied you with the knowledge, the new road, the path. And all you had to do was see that you needed to detach from something that no longer served you. Too burdensome. You couldn't carry. You didn't carry. It wasn't yours. You didn't need to carry it. And get away from this doggone conflict. Fighting for something that don't even make no sense. Because I just, you know, anyway. So what was the whole purpose of the universe? talking to you that I don't know if I'm going to keep calling this so Friday because there's a whole lot you would have going on. But as a Gemini, you can have all this going on in the mental space because that's what we do. Right? Gemini, so the whole purpose of what the universe want done here is still about movement and detachment because you got the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and Temperance. They needed you to move this away. They just, you was in your head, stuck, stagnant, confused, nervous, asking for answers. Some making you doubt yourself. Because you only really get in your head like this when you doubting, God dog, I don't know who that is. <laughs> They're not making you doubt yourself. Trying to get you in your head. But 10 of swords, you move from the 9 to the 10. Goodbye. Detach is over. And what do we have? Tempers. Now you're able to put things together the way the universe wants you to put them together without being in your head. Ten of Swords is the end of deception, lies, cheating, heartbreak, misunderstandings, manipulation. Like, you can't put no other sword in my bag. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm tripping. 
I'm going to remember this full moon in Pisces because it has really got me tripping. Oh, God. Anyway, temperance. The universe is here working on some things. Be patient. This weekend, you may be in a hermit mode because you do have a hermit. You may be dealing with a Virgo. You may be dealing with uh, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Definitely an Aquarius or a Gemini like yourself. So y'all could be, you know. But y'all fighting it out together. And if that's the case, I don't know how y'all gonna do it, but y'all gonna get it together. If it's two Geminis, somebody got more water in their chart. That's how you discern. So, just because it's Gemini and you with a Gemini, y'all got different things in y'all chart. And y'all need to see what is the rising versus the moon and the sun. Because those are different aspects of a person. Okay? Even their north node and south node. Their north node is where they're supposed to be heading. What's your north node? What's that? You know, it's a lot of factors. Don't let... Because I think two Geminis would be a great idea, a relationship. But somebody got to have uh, just a little bit more... Um, water. Somebody I have a little month, right? And here's cancer. So we're all moving forward. So this situation is definitely going to be a detached situation from juggling a situation, a dropping burden, seeing where it is that needs to be dropped, who needs to be removed and cut out, and definitely not waiting to do this. Okay? So it may be a time for reflection this weekend, but I think in September, you just like, shh. Because you gain something. You get something. And you no longer have to wait because the universe like is right here. Just drop that and, and take this path. That's what I'm hearing. And let's move forward. That's what I got for you, Gemini. How come I feel like I want to keep on doing readings? Okay, Gemini, that is all that I have. If anything resonates with you, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys uh, on your general reading that will be coming out soon. Okay? So, bye. It should hopefully you <laughs> love and like Gemini. I, I gotta know. This this I think this may be a talk for this Pisces a talk. I gotta really look into this. Um <laughs> Love and light Gemini. Bye.